Let me get to... I have a lot of people on hold. Let me get to Sheldon out of South Africa. First time caller. Right on to South Africa. I need a follow-up interview with South Africans. Sheldon, it's good to hear from you. What's up? Hey, how are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? No, I'm well. I'm well. But it's very nice to speak to you, man. Really. I've been listening to a couple of your shows, and it's very eye-opening. I appreciate it. Right on. Appreciate you calling. That's cool. What time is it over there? Okay, now it's 7 o'clock here in the evening. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, 2 7. Yeah, that's the time now. What is it like over there for you in South Africa? Okay, it is nice, but when I look at your country at the moment, when I see especially the, the flags being burned and the way people operate, we are the same then over here in South Africa. So it's actually for me to, to look at what your country is going to become like. It's going to be very tough for you guys going yeah. forward, especially now that they're busy with the police. I'm telling you they're going to cut off the police's hands, and then from there, everything, they're going to change a couple of laws, and then from there, it's going to be like open. So people are going to, it's going to be very tough. That's what I, the way I'm seeing it going. Because yeah. over here, they happen the same way. The police have a lot of power. They could stop you anytime. They can do a lot of things. But as soon as they take away some of the, the, the power that the police have, so it's, then it's going to be a little bit troublesome for you guys. Yeah. Okay. You know, I've heard, a, I've heard of a lot of fires being set to businesses and, and different places over in, you know, um, for, in the name of riots and protests over in South Africa. And I hadn't considered the fact that the police are not strong over there. And um, the farm attacks, the farm attacks on white farmers, where they have this insane hatred for white people, they're taught and brainwashed that the whites were oppressive to the blacks, so now they're doing the same thing to the whites, what they heard was done to them. And worse, <laughs> and the cops can't solve many of these cases, can't protect the, the uh, farmers. The farmers can hardly protect themselves. It is crazy. And that's, what, that's the direction of it here. All, so, it's so misguided, too. These people think that they're for what's right, and they're not. And it's the same. It's true what Jesse always says, that South Africa is on their way to you guys. Yeah. It was the exact thing that they are doing over there, or about to be budget doing. They've already done it over here. They're yeah. going to go and put the firearms. They're going to try and remove the firearms of the guys. Even if they're going to apply for a firearm, you, you, in our country, you have to apply for a license and those type of things for a firearm. That will make it difficult. They're very difficult because they, they don't want the people to have their own firearms to protect themselves. Yeah. That is a plan that they're willing to have. You know, there was a case... With people. There was a case... In, there was a case in um, St. Louis or something like that where these okay. this white couple owns this huge mansion. They're, I think they're restoring it, right? Very historical mansion, huge, beautiful on the inside and on the outside, honestly. And okay. these marchers were going on their way to, these Black Lives Matter supporters were on their way to the mayor's house to protest her, right? Or him, or I forget who. And they, some of them took a little sidetrack, it seemingly, went into what looked like they went into private property, which was these people's land, this couple. The couple came out, with the, one with an AR-15, a big rifle, and another, the woman with a little pistol, handgun. I saw, I saw that, that, that video today on the other guy's show. And yeah. I saw them. He was a guy was standing outside with his AR, with his, with his firearm. And, and they I think a lot of those things are still going to happen. Your, your people are going to get tired, and I'm telling you, they're going to be a big, maybe a big group shooting, something like that. Because everyone is not going to allow that you to come or this BLM coming to their places. Right. Somebody's going to lose their cool. Somebody's going to lose their cool, and then you're going to see, and then the left is going to make a big issue out of that, and then they're going to go and say, well, can you see? That's why we need to take away their firearms. Look at what they are doing. Exactly. They're waiting for you guys to get angry. They're waiting for you guys to get angry, to do a big mob shooting. And then from there, they got a reason to tell you, okay, we need to remove firearms. We need to do this and that. Very so true. It's, 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 yep. It's the, similar to here in South Africa, really. It's similar. It's, it's actually funny to see it happening over there because it already happened over here. <laughs> so if you can look at our country, it's like a great example yeah. of what is going to happen to you guys over there. So I pray and I hope you guys can overcome it and fight against it, not to let it happen. 
I otherwise think otherwise it's going to be an ultra pain. Yeah, I mean, I still have hope, right? Because it's not over yet. There's a lot of decent no, it's people. No, it's not over. It's not over yet. Yeah. You still have a lot of fight. You need to fight and stand up and call these people by the truth. Because you at least what you can do, you can see what they're busy with. You can see what their plan is or what they want to do or the end result, what they want to do. Right. At least you can see. You see, that is a nice part. If you want to not be able to see, then it's going to carry on. But at least you guys can see. This is the plan that people are having. They want to destroy your country. And it's actually for me, I, 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 I love your country, really, the, the ideals you have and all that type of stuff. But it's sad to see, like, even your flag. That our country is bad. It's very bad. But I haven't seen people burn our flags. Like yeah. Our new South and I haven't seen that, like, burning our flag. Although things are very tough, but at least when we have a soccer game or a sports game and we sing our national anthem, people will still stand and sing along to it. But right. You see, you people, it's, it's, it's graceful actually to, to watch what you guys are doing, driving over your country's flag and yeah, like that. And, and they, they're supposed to be grateful because I wish <laughs> right. I could go to your country and stay over there and make a living. I wish I could do it, but I can't do it. But those are the guys that have an opportunity to be in your country. It's not even from your country. You need to enjoy it, the privilege they are getting, the freedom they are getting. And then they end up spitting on the flag, and, and no, man, it's not, it's not on it. It's very sad. It's yeah. You know that couple who had the, who were armed and protecting their property, they didn't shoot anyone, they didn't fire off at all, they may have pointed the guns a little carelessly, I don't know, maybe they weren't properly trained, but they are under investigation, and they claim there is this whole media narrative that these protesters were quote-unquote peaceful. I thought I saw the picture of a gate that was destroyed. I don't know if that was related to this event, but it didn't sound like it was necessarily peaceful. There's this whole propaganda war by the media that's against America that calls what these people peaceful? mostly is, peaceful. <laughs> uh, what is peaceful like if people come into your property? Exactly. A lot of people come into your property. What is peaceful about What are you doing in my, in, my, in, my, in my place of residence? What are you doing there? What's your plan? Yep. I can't wait for you to react. I must get my phone because I don't know. I didn't invite these people to right. come to my place. Yep. So they're forcefully coming into my place. But now that is what the left are waiting for. They want you guys to react. And it's, it's, it's very tough because what are you supposed to do when people are coming into your house? Exactly. You, you don't know what's yeah, going to happen. And these guys, these guys claim, these, this couple, they claim that they are um, Black Lives Matter supporters. <laughs> they're lawyers, right? Probably liberals. But <laughs> they're going to be, uh, they're under investigation. Uh, it's, no, it's so it's backwards. Very, very, very and you're right, and the angry people, even... you're right, the angry people want to spread the anger so that they can get you mad, act out in a, in a way that's questionable or wrong, outright, and then they can yes. use they're just, it to they're just waiting basically for that. They were by waiting basically for that, okay, for you guys to act and maybe use, you wonder what would happen if that guy were to really use that AR-15, which is maybe in his right to do it because you're right. causing his, his property, but what is going to happen to him? Yeah. After that, should he should he would he would have he done that and shoot a couple of people that was yeah. in his yard or at his place? What is going to happen to that guy? What do you think is going to happen to him? It's They're crazy. Gonna fry him. Yep. They're going to fry him. Yeah. And that is what they want. But I I, I really hope you guys go through it and and strong to you, Joe. Um, I I love your program. I love what you guys are doing and keep on speaking up, man. I, I'm, Thank you. It's actually nice to see a white guy. Who's not afraid to speak? Because I'm telling you, here in South Africa, it's the same as like, they were doing. The white people, you can't say anything over here. It's uh, like, or, you Sheldon, can't say anything over are you here. are you white or black? I am. I would consider in your country, I would be considered as black. But in my country, I would consider it a colored, which is a different type of. It's, okay. It's, it's a different, almost like the Mexicans, like something like that. It's yeah. Different to the black. You see. That is how we consider it actually over here. We've got three races, like the blacks, the whites, and then we got the colors in, in between. Is that the mix? So are they our, mixed? Yeah, mostly yes, it's a mixed race, I would say. Some of them would look like you, like uh -huh. the white guy, and some would look like Jesse, and Jesse would actually consider it in our country, would consider it to be a colored guy. If I look at him, he would be a colored guy. Okay. You see, some, so it's, it's very I've heard of that. I don't, remember, I don't remember the name that I heard. I don't recognize the, the name that you're saying. How do you spell it's it? It's colored. Can you C C O C O L O U yeah colored C O L O U U R 
B. Oh, colored. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> he said colored. Yeah, it's a colored, yeah. <laughs> right. we, call it, we call it colored. But the knife, we would actually consider it as brown people. Like right. We go white, black, and brown. This is the three colors we have. Yeah. But since we are like a mixed group, we got very mixed. Like Some of the guys look like Chinese. You can see some mixed Chinese. So some is like a black. You don't know if it's a black or colored guy. Or some of the guys look white. So and, the race that we are, actually. And they don't know... They don't know that everybody, even even amongst the blacks, there are blacks who are natives there, right? And then there are blacks who came from somewhere else and weren't the indigenous people over there, right? I know. I'm telling you, like, the whole world is here in South Africa. What a mess! Everybody, <laughs> there. We got Ethiopians, we got right. Chinese, we got. I think all the, the 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 people that don't want to go to other countries, they're coming over here. Yeah. Because wow. nobody. Else. I'm a police official, actually. We got people with no passport, no documents, nothing is over here in our country. I don't think our government even knows which wow. country. Wow, not good. Osama Bin Laden, all these people, they can come and hide over here because we don't have... Like, everybody's welcome. So I wrote the text last time. If those people like were complaining about the racism there in your country... Oh, he dropped off. I didn't do it. Sorry about that. But I appreciate your call. Very good call. Yeah, I've heard that South Africa, the um, Cape Town, I heard last year, they were running out of water, suffering a drought, I think, in Cape Town, which is one of the major cities, founding cities of South Africa. Crazy. What a mess. Anyways.